the thing that intrigued me was that that judgment was for 10 years. Right. Is that not right? Right. That's what we thought. Yeah. yeah. So why was it only for 10 years? Can you tell us that. Well, the, the way that it works uh, normally through a civil judgment in the state of Oregon, it's 10 years. Uh, we found out uh, at the 10-year mark, uh, the board came to us and, and said, okay, well now you'll be able to accept all the royalties um, and you don't have to you know, give them away through the ministry because this judgment is expiring in, um, in February, which would have been February would have been this month, but 10 years ago. And says, so the, since that was coming up, um, you know, you can receive the money. Well, Nancy and I talked about it, prayed about it, and we said, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, God's been taking care of us, and we've had the joy of seeing this money go all over the world. Uh, and so we made the decision, we want that to continue to happen. Little did we know that Two months later, we would discover that they managed to get that judgment extended yet another 10 years. And had we made the decision to take the royalties, we would have had to go, whoa, we got to figure out, you know, how to kind of reverse this whole situation because they, they could have garnished those. Now, that sounds a little vindictive. Well, uh, on their part, people, uh, people who kill children for a living. Um, we're not surprised when they lie and when they do things that are unethical. That's, that's what they're about. And don't get me wrong. I love these people. I prayed for them. I shared the gospel with them. We've seen people come to faith in Christ uh, who have been ex, you know, abort who are now ex-abortion clinic workers. So it's not, um, I, I don't feel anything toward them, but I feel very seriously about the evil of child killing. And you know, you read this book, it talks about God's view of the killing of children. And it's, uh, it's a horrific thing. And it's something that we don't want to lose sight of.